All right, guys, we're back taking a look at more 2022 sleds. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the 2022 Sidewinder LTX GT with electronic power steering. This model, the GT in particular, has earned a reputation among seasoned high mileage riders for its rock solid performance and practical comfort. Let us take you on a quick tour of the features and benefits that are gonna help back up that theory. All the way around suspension wise, you've got Fox's uh, zero QS3 shocks. Now overall, you saw there how easy it is to adjust. What we love about this suspension is you're not gonna get lost in the clickers. You're not gonna leave a gas station one day and figure out why am I 17 clicks out on one side and 37 clicks out on the other side. No, there's one, two, and three. You've got three options that are vastly different, noticeable difference between the three. Very easy to tune with your gloves on. A quick stop, you can change your settings all the way around in your suspension to exactly where you want it to be. Now, as far as uh, steering and overall suspension on this snowmobile, this has got the new single keel striker ski from Yamaha that came out recently. Totally changes the dynamics of the Sidewinder. And the biggest news this year, way more than the ski even, would be the electronic power steering that this model comes with. That's what the EPS stands for in the name and you can see just how well it works. We're not moving here at all. Got one, maybe two fingers on the handlebars, one hand at least. Um, totally easy to turn the handlebars left and right. No effort really required overall. Now, as far as other features and benefits go, you've obviously got electric start on these big four strokes. I mean, it would be quite a feat to be able to pull some of these uh, turbo sleds over these days. Uh, as far as the gauge goes, on the top left there, you've got the ability to tune between either RPMs or speed. Down low, you can look at things like coolant, voltmeter. Um, upright, you've got speed as well. If you want to do RPMs on one side, speed on the other, you can do altitude, the time. Um, and then the bottom there between fuel and that upper gauge, you've got things like uh, hour meter, trip meter, odometer, uh, all that. As far as other storage goes up front in the dash area, you've got the goggle bag from Yamaha, which is just an awesome feature if you've never experienced it yourself. Um, it is heated by the heat that comes off the motor, so they've got screening in the bottom there. So if you've got goggles you need to defog, if you've got gloves you want to keep warm, great spot to keep all of those things. And your phone won't freeze too, which is great. Down low we've got a heated seat, uh, one of the most underrated features. No one really talks about how awesome it is to have a heated seat until you're all fighting over getting on this sled when it's minus 20, minus 30 degrees Celsius outside. 